My beloved child, have no fear, for there are those who will love you as I love you. Though the road has been lonely at times, take comfort knowing that I am sending people into your life whose very purpose is to show you kindness, compassion, and care. These are people who hear my voice telling them to lift you up when you are down, to offer an encouraging word when darkness clouds your mind. Their hearts stir with divine affection for you, prompting them to bring you gifts of joy, acceptance, and friendship. You may not know them yet, but look for those whose presence immediately soothes your soul. Their embrace will say what words cannot, that you are not alone, that you are deeply valued. Through them, my light will shine onto your path, warming you with a sense of belonging. Do not be surprised when strangers suddenly feel like family. I am at work behind the scenes, orchestrating your encounters with people who are eager to walk alongside you. Their love for you is no coincidence, it is my love shining through them. This is my promise, my child, as long as you have breath, I will keep sending people to love you. Open your arms to receive the gifts I have chosen just for you. In time, you will see how my faithful ones have made all the difference. Do not concern yourself with those who do not like you. Their opinions say more about them than about you. You are my beloved creation, and I see your worth. Some people struggle to accept others who are different from themselves. When they see your light shining through, it can make them uncomfortable and bring their own shortcomings into focus. Rather than looking inward, they lash out to diminish your glow. Pay them no mind. You were made in my image to live according to higher principles of love, courage, and compassion. While critics watch your actions hoping to find fault, let your focus be on bringing more light to the world. The craziest thing is not that haters watch your every move, but that they miss seeing the blessings you bring. They perceive threats where there is only kindness. Stay true to who you are, my gift to humanity. Let the light within you shine for all, including those blinded by their own shadows. Do good and spread love as I have taught you. In time, even the hardest of hearts may soften through your example. But for now, find peace in knowing you have my love and approval. That is all you need. Have faith that in six months' time you will be in a whole new chapter of your life. I know the road has been difficult, with many challenges and uncertainties along the way. But you have walked each step with me by your side. Very soon, all your hard work and perseverance will pay off. The seeds you have sown through your studies and prayers will bloom abundantly. A spiritual awakening is coming that will fill your heart with peace, hope, and joy. You will feel physically stronger and healthier too as my light shines through you. Socially, you will form new friendships and connections that enrich your life. People who support your growth and potential will replace those who try to hold you back. I am making all things new for you, my child. This season of transition will pass quickly. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and do not lose heart. Though it may seem long from now, the blessings of six months hence are already unfolding according to my perfect plan and timing. Walk with me one day at a time, and trust that I will take your hand and lead you to the beautiful future I have prepared. You will look back and be amazed at how far you have come. As you start this new day, take a moment to be still before me. Read from Psalm 23, allowing the peace of the Good Shepherd to wash over you and fill your heart. Thank me for this gift of a new day with all its possibilities for joy, for growth, and for bringing light to the world in even small ways through acts of love. 
know that I am with you to guide your steps and order your path. While the day may bring uncertainties, you do not walk alone. Place your trust in me, your father who cares for you. When worries come, bring them to me and leave them in my hands. I am your strength and comfort. Nothing is too great or too small to share with me. Have faith that as you go through this day, my presence will surround you like a shield. Where there is darkness, I am the light that guides your way. When the way seems long, I am the hope that lifts your eyes to the horizon. And in every moment, I walk beside you with a love that is eternal. Do not listen to the enemy's lies that creep into your mind. When doubts and fears try to take hold, reminding you of past failures or perceived shortcomings, know that these thoughts are not from me. I have given you gifts and talents, and I do not make mistakes in who I choose. It is the deceiver who wants you to shrink back in uncertainty, but I have called you to step boldly into all I have planned. Those negative voices that whisper of inadequacy and past errors only seek to undermine the confidence I have placed within you. Do not entertain such dark imaginings, even for a moment. Instead, turn your focus fully to me and my promises. I have said that with me, all things are possible and that includes overcoming every obstacle and accomplishing every dream. Have I not shown my faithfulness time and again? Trust in me, and in the strength and abilities I have provided. When doubts assail you, lift your voice in praise and thanksgiving. Declare the truths of who you are in me brave, gifted, destined for victory. Fill your mind with thoughts of hope, and how I can make a way where there seems no way. Do not let any lie take root but stand firm on my eternal word. I have overcome this world, and so shall you by abiding in me. Now go in peace, and in the power and assurance of all I have promised. The enemy shall not defeat you, for greater is he within you than any force that comes against you. I know the sorrows and pains of this life can feel overwhelming at times. But I want you to know that I am with you, and I am using even your hardest times to shape you into the beautiful person you are meant to be. All people will experience suffering in this world, but how we respond to it is what matters most. You have a choice whether to let your troubles drag you down into darkness, or to use them as stepping stones to grow closer to me. I do not want you to waste your tears but to let each one wash you clean so you can better see my light. Your sorrows are an opportunity for your character to strengthen and your faith to deepen. In times of struggle, you can turn inward and discover the well of courage and resilience I placed within your soul. Or you can look up from your pain and find me holding out my hand, ready to comfort you. This life will bring you both joy and hardship. But have hope, because suffering is only for a season and leads to an eternal glory nothing in this world can diminish. Stay close to me as you walk through your valleys, and I promise I will bring you through them and guide you safely home. You are called not just to endure, but to be made pure and radiant through every tear you weep. My child, sorrow may last for the night, but my joy comes in the morning. While thanks and praise delight me, what matters most is the condition of your spirit. I created you with free will and do not wish for you to follow me out of obligation, but out of love. Come to me freely, with your whole heart, and know that I accept you as you are imperfect yet striving. In your prayers, do not focus so much on petitions, but open your ears to hear my voice reassuring your soul. I am listening even when you cannot feel my presence. Have faith that I am working all things together for your good, in ways you may not yet see. Look back on how I have guided your steps this far. 
Did I not provide courage when fear gripped you? Did I not send helpers in your hours of need? Take time each day to notice the small mercies as well as the big ones. A new day is a gift in itself. Let this be a season of renewal, of resting in my love and grace rather than striving in your own strength. I am making all things new. Lift up your eyes to the hills where your help comes from. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. As you prepare to rest your head for the night, I want you to lift all your burdens and problems up to me. Place each mountain you're facing at my feet and believe that I am able to move them. Do not doubt in your heart that I will make a way where there seems to be no way. When troubles come, remember that I am greater than any challenge or obstacle. Just as the scripture says, have faith in God. Speak to the mountains in your life and command them to be removed, in the name of Jesus. I give you authority over all the power of the enemy. So do not be afraid of what is confronting you right now. As you sleep, let peace fill your soul. Know that I am working behind the scenes on your behalf, moving in ways you cannot see yet with your natural eyes. In the morning, you may wake up to a whole new situation, with answers and provision where before there was only problems. Or you may not notice an immediate change, but continue to stand on my promises. Walk by faith, not by sight. Keep declaring the mountains gone according to my word, and do not doubt. I will make the impossible possible for you. See yourself already crossing over to the other side of this difficulty. Let hope rise up within you, as you remember that all things are possible for those who believe. When you feel weary or afraid, come to me in prayer. Pour out your heart, and also take time to listen for my voice reassuring you that you will surely come forth as gold, refined and made stronger. I am with you always, and I want you to sleep in peace knowing that I am at work on your behalf. Now close your eyes and rest, my child, trusting that I will handle all your burdens and cares. I understand you have been struggling in a relationship where you feel unheard and taken for granted. It pains me to see you begging for kindness and attention that should freely flow between people who care for one another. You deserve so much more. Do not waste your precious time and energy trying to convince others of your worth. Some people may be too caught up in themselves to see your value but their indifference says nothing about who you are. You were created by me to shine from within, not to dim your light for the approval of others. I know the loneliness that comes from feeling unseen, but you will never be alone, for I am always with you. When others withdraw their care, turn to me and you will find rest for your weary soul. My love is not conditional or limited, it is a never-ending wellspring within you. Drink deep from me and let my strength renew your spirit. Let this be a season of rediscovery of who you are beyond what others say or do. Stand confident in the beautiful one I made you to be. Do not waste one more moment begging where you should be believed without question. You have so much wonderful work left to do in this world. I come to you today with wonderful news. I am preparing to open a great door of opportunity and blessing in your life that no earthly power will be able to close. I see the challenges you have faced and the faithfulness with which you have endured. Know that your perseverance has not gone unnoticed. The time has now come for you to witness and walk in a miracle so profound that it will alter the course not only of your lifetime, but of generations to come within your household. Though the details are still unfolding according to my perfect timing and plan, be assured that what is soon to take place will establish a legacy of provision, peace, and prosperity for your entire family line. 
You have been faithful over little, so now I am ready to appoint you over much. I am about to grant you access to a blessing, idea, or resource that when nurtured with the wisdom I place within you will multiply exponentially and pour out favor in extraordinary ways. Though people may try to stand in your way or shut doors against you, have no fear the door I am opening for you no man can succeed in closing. Prepare your heart in gratitude and trust. This new phase I am ushering you into will require faith, courage, and hard work, but you will not be alone, my favor and presence will guide your every step. Great things are ahead, my child. Stay close to me and watch in wonder as I perform miracles beyond anything you could ask or imagine according to my promises. While suffering in this world can sometimes make us feel lonely, I do not want you to dwell in isolation. All that you endure is known to me, for we walk this path together. When pain afflicts your body or sadness weighs upon your heart, remember that you need not bear these burdens alone. I am here with you always, closer than your very breath. You have endured much, yet your faith in my love has never wavered. This gives me great joy. Now I ask you to open your heart further, and allow others the blessing of sharing in your journey. Among your brothers and sisters, you will find compassion and comfort. Lift each other up as I lift you both. Weep with those who weep, laugh with those who rejoice. In this way, even darkness is made light. Your light must not be hidden, for you have so much to offer the world. Let your example of resilience and hope strengthen those around you. Together, through fellowship and acts of kindness, you will help carry one another's loads. Out of suffering can bloom new life, a life enriched by community. I did not create you for isolation, but for oneness with all people as my beloved children. Trust that as you reach out in love, I will guide your steps to green pastures of peace. Let suffering lead you not to loneliness, but to deeper connections with your neighbors. In this way, you will know true solace and fulfillment. I am with you always. I am overjoyed that your prayers have been answered and the issue that troubled you has been resolved. However, this is just the beginning of our journey together. It is important that we continue nurturing our relationship even after I provide for your needs. While material blessings are nice, they are fleeting. True fulfillment comes from having an intimate connection with your Creator. I don't want you to see me just as a means to get things, but as your loving Father who desires to walk by your side each day. From now on, Make it a priority to spend time with me through prayer, reading my word, and living according to my ways. Share your heart with me, both its joys and sorrows. Listen for my voice of guidance through your thoughts and circumstances. In this way, our bond of love and trust will deepen. I promise that as you prioritize knowing me above all else, I will lead you to a place of peace, purpose and abundance far beyond anything the world can offer. You will lack no good thing because my blessings will surround you. But the greatest gift will be experiencing my presence and finding your true identity and worth in me. So don't forget me now that your situation has changed. Make me the focus of your life and let our relationship blossom into something beautiful. I am here for you always, my child, so keep your eyes on me and let everything else fall into place. Just trust and obey your father who loves you unconditionally. I know you have struggled lately with feelings of loneliness and doubt. But I want you to know that I have never given up on you, and I never will. Even in your darkest moments, when you feel furthest from me, I am right there searching for you calling out your name. 
You may try to hide from me and from who I created you to be, but my love for you is so great that I will always come looking for you. I want to restore you to the person of purpose, joy, and peace that I designed you to be from the very beginning. When you lose your way or forget your identity and worth, I am here to gently and lovingly remind you where are you, my child. I am here to lift you up and make you new again. You don't have to face this journey alone, I walk with you always. My arms are open wide to embrace you the moment you turn back to me. I have already forgiven you for any mistakes or times you've strayed. All I ask is that you trust in my unending love and mercy. I promise that if you put your hand in mine once more, I will lead you to calmer waters and restore your soul. You are so precious to me, do not lose hope, for I am your hope. Do not lose faith, for I have faith in you. Come back to me and experience my peace, joy, and renewal. I am here, my child, always calling out to bring you back into my loving arms. Faith is not something complicated, it's actually very simple. Faith is about trusting me even when you don't understand everything. It's okay if you have lots of questions. I don't expect you to know all the answers. Faith is also not about being perfect. It's okay if you mess up sometimes or feel scared. That's why I'm here to help you through the tough times. You don't have to pretend to be brave when you're feeling afraid. Just keep believing in me and in my love for you. And faith should be fun. It's an adventure, not something boring. Even when it's hard, try to find the joy in simply walking with me each day. Our time together is meant to lift your spirit. Most of all, faith is active. It's not something that happens when you just watch from the sidelines. You grow stronger in your faith through spending time with me in prayer and by living at your faith in the things you do for others. Make your faith a part of your daily life through acts of love, kindness, forgiveness, and service. Don't worry so much about having all the answers, my child. Just keep taking my hand each day and let me lead you on this exciting journey of faith. I'm right here beside you every step of the way. The time for waiting is coming to an end. I know you have been faithful in praying to me, bringing your requests with patience and hope. And now I am here to tell you that a flood of answered prayers is coming. You have remained steadfast in our relationship even when the answers were not yet clear. But know that I have been listening to you all along. Though the fulfillment seemed delayed, it was never because I forgot about you or did not care. As your father in heaven, I want only what is best for you. So get ready, my child. Prepare your heart to receive all that I am about to do. The drought of lacking and wanting is over. A mighty outpouring of my blessings is heading your way. Every prayer that you have prayed in faith will now come to fruition. The situations that troubled you will be resolved. Prosperity, favor, breakthroughs, they are all coming in abundance. Do not be surprised by the magnitude of what I will do. For am I not the God who parted the Red Sea? The one who rained manna from heaven and quenched the thirst of millions with water from a rock? I am the Lord your provider, and there is no limit to what I can accomplish. So believe with all your heart, and do not doubt that you will see the fulfillment of your every petition. If certain people have been on your mind lately, don't ignore those thoughts and feelings. Those individuals may have been placed on your heart by me for a reason. When I bring someone to your remembrance, it's usually a nudge to lift them up in prayer. Your prayers can make a real difference in their lives. So the next time a friend, family member, 
coworker, or someone else you know has been on your mind more than usual, take a moment to pray for them. Ask me to watch over and protect them. Pray that I will guide, comfort, strengthen or bless them in whatever situation they're facing. Have faith that your prayers are heard, and that my angels are at work on their behalf. You never know what hidden challenges or unseen battles someone may be struggling with. But you can be an instrument of hope and help simply through your prayers. So don't ignore those promptings of love and concern. Lift those people to me in prayer. Together, through your faith in my divine power, hearts and lives can be transformed. That's why I may place certain people in your heart so that through your prayers, they too can feel my loving presence and experience my peace, provision and answers. Always listen when I bring someone to your remembrance and pray for them as led by my spirit. I see the kindness in your heart and gentle nature that you carry. While others may mistake this for weakness, know that I am aware of the inner strength and resilience that resides within you. You have endured challenges that have tested even the toughest of souls, yet you have emerged from those battles with compassion and care for others. Do not let the opinions of others cause you to doubt the beauty of your spirit. It took immense courage and fortitude for you to retain your softness of character after withstanding chaos. Your calm demeanor is a testament to your intelligence and survival through difficult times. Those who are quick to judge do not see as I see the scars of pain that could have hardened you but instead left you with empathy. You have survived the hardest of fights, yet retained a generous heart. In this you are smarter and stronger than those who think to degrade you. I know the true measure of one's mettle lies not in boasting or aggression, but in overcoming hardship with grace. Your gentle nature is not a weakness as some claim, but rather your strength to be kind when it would have been easy to become cruel. Do not shrink yourself to conform to shallow ideas of what is brave. I place compassion within you for a reason. Walk proudly with the goodness that I know you possess. Let no one diminish the light that shines from your soul. You are beloved in my eyes exactly as you are. I love all people equally and I never force anyone to believe in me or follow me. I give each person the precious gift of free will to choose their own path in life. While I hope everyone would want to walk by my side and experience my unconditional love, I understand that some may have doubts or choose a different way for a time. That is why I am always here waiting patiently for anyone who wants to return to me. I don't get angry or try to punish those who don't believe I am loving and forgiving to all. All I want is for people to be happy and at peace. If following me is not what makes someone's heart sing just yet, I will still be here to welcome them with open arms whenever they feel ready. You have nothing to fear from exploring your own thoughts or living as your heart guides you for now. I will be here to listen without judgment if you ever wish to talk or need my comfort. And should you start to feel lonely or unfulfilled in your journey, remember that you can always come home to my embrace. I am the still, small voice of calm within that will never lead you astray. Have courage to truly know yourself, and know that you are loved unconditionally. Do not lose hope. Though you have faced many struggles and hardships, I am with you. I see your suffering and the burdens you carry, yet your faith in me has remained strong. Know that a time of restoration is coming. All that was stolen from you, all that was lost, I will restore to you multiplied many times over. It will be as though the difficulties never even occurred. A new beginning is at hand. Have courage for I am about to open doors in your life that you never imagined. 
Opportunities will arise that you did not seek or expect. Help will come from those you know as well as unexpected sources. Through it all, my hand will guide you and provide for your needs. Do not lose heart in these challenging times. Keep your eyes fixed on me, and trust that I will see you through. Where you see no way forward, I am already preparing the way. Though the world may say it is impossible, nothing is impossible for me. A glorious future lies ahead, so have faith and hold fast to my promises. I am with you always, you will never walk alone. The best is yet to come. I am so proud of the progress you have made. It takes strength and humility to acknowledge our mistakes, apologize sincerely, and make positive changes in our lives. You have shown me that you are willing to put in the work, and that is so important. I love seeing you grow in emotional intelligence. It is not easy to understand our own feelings, let alone how our actions affect others. But you are learning. You are learning to catch yourself when your temper starts to rise, and instead respond with patience and kindness. You think about how your words will land before speaking. You make effort to resolve conflicts in a healthy way. This level of self-awareness and accountability is attractive because it shows me that you want to become your best self. You want to build others up with your words and actions instead of tearing them down. My child, keep shining your light for the world to see. Keep making me proud with how you treat people each day. I know life will continue to bring challenges, but you now have the tools to overcome in a way that honors both yourself and others. You have a gift. Never stop growing in wisdom and love. Never stop making the changes within that create positive change without. Walk proudly knowing that your efforts are making such a difference in both your relationships and in the lives you touch. I am always here cheering you on. Keep your chin up and keep striving to be the best version of yourself. You've got this. Now, follow this prayer if you want me to send the right people into your life. O oh, gracious and loving Father, as I come before you in prayer, I am filled with gratitude for your boundless love and care. You have spoken to my heart, reassuring me of your presence and your unfailing commitment to shower me with love through the people you send into my life. Your words have lifted my spirits and brought me hope in times of uncertainty. I thank you, Lord for the promise that you will never leave me alone, that you will always provide companionship and comfort through the kindness of others. Help me to recognize and embrace those whose presence soothes my soul, who bring your light into my life through their acts of love and friendship. Guide me, Father, to open my heart to these divine connections to welcome them with gratitude and to reciprocate their love with kindness and compassion. May I be a beacon of your light in this world, spreading love and joy to all those around me. Lord, I also lift up to you those who may not understand or accept me, those who may criticize or reject me. Help me to see them with eyes of compassion knowing that their opinions do not define my worth in your eyes. Grant me the strength to rise above negativity and to continue walking in the path of love and forgiveness. I pray for the courage to trust in your perfect timing and plan for my life, knowing that you are always working behind the scenes to bring about blessings and breakthroughs. Help me to remain steadfast in faith, even in the face of challenges and uncertainties. Father, I surrender my fears and doubts to you, 
knowing that you are my strength and my refuge. Fill me with your peace and assurance, knowing that you are always by my side, guiding me through every trial and triumph. Thank you, Lord, for your unending love and grace. May my life be a testament to your goodness, and may I always walk in the light of your love. Amen. My dear child, I have heard your prayer, and my heart is filled with love and joy for you. Know that you bring me great comfort through your faith, trust, and gratitude. You have my peace, my protection, and my perfect plan for your life. Stay close to me through prayer and obedience, and walk in freedom, joy, and purpose. Thank you for your beautiful prayer, my cherished child. I am so proud of your faith and trust. Keep living as my light in this world. You fill my heart with gladness. I am with you always. With eternal love, your Father in heaven. If you want to hear more words from God, make sure to watch this video now. God loves you. Amen.